Nessler here, and with me as always, Kirk Herbstreit and Lee Corso. And it is perfect football weather here for today's matchup between the Boise State Broncos and the Georgia Bulldogs. Hold on to your seats because we've got an incredible matchup coming your way early in this college football season. And here come the Bulldogs. If you compare these teams on paper, they really look to be pretty equal. Kirk, what do you think? Georgia is going to attack this defense in the air. And I'll tell you, this is the key to the game. If their quarterback has time to throw, he'll have a huge game today against that vulnerable secondary. I've been quiet about it, but I think it's finally time for my pick. This one's easy. I'm picking the Bulldogs. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He kicks it. Number 20 fields it in the end zone. They'll take over at the 21. Power eye set. the play action he's going right got it and he's finally shoved out at the 47 yard line that was a big time play and a new set of down i think the defense might have been thinking run there coach well i don't blame him it's pretty common to see a run on first and second down but this offense is keeping them guessing it's first and ten ball right around midfield the bulldogs line up in the power eye formation A little juke. Tackle. The running back gets two on the carry. Gain of two on the play. It's second down and eight. Ball on the 49-yard line. Two tight end set. Gets the ball. No, they make it. And he's going to come up with a sack. Great speed to find his way to the quarterback. You know, if I were the coach, I'd find this kid up at the defensive end every now and then. Wow, can you imagine that? On third long type situations, he'd make a great flush in, Kirk. I like that. I like that, Kirk. It's third down and 15 to go. Ball on the 42. One man backfield. He drops back. He steps up, looking. Throws this one out to the right. Complete. What a catch. He made the catch, and they're still going to be short. Hey, if you would have gotten some yards on first and second down, you wouldn't have needed so many on third down. They line up to punt this one away. He punts it away. It's a high kick. Number 20 calls for the fair catch. And they make the fair catch at the 16. Well, we've seen one offensive drive stall. Let's see how this offense does with their first possession. This quarterback is the leader of this team. But he's going to need some help from his offensive line today as they go up against a very good pass rush. You got that right, Brad. He's the focal point of this offense, and the defensive line knows it. They're going to be coming after him hard today. When you're as good as this kid is at playing quarterback, there's definitely a bullseye painted on your chest. We'll see how he handles the pressure. Second and ten. Ball on their own 16. The Bronco line up in an eye formation. Boise State sets up in the eye. He 
jukes. Has some daylight. He's all the way down to the 41. A spectacular run. You know, usually when the defense is all over the place, that's a good thing. In this case, <laughs> it's a bad thing. Well, let me tell you something, Lee. There was a lot of running room there. This defense may have nightmares tonight about this running back running all over. It's first and ten. Ball on the 41. Second and 11. Ball on the 40. They line up in an eye. Drop back to pass. He's looking. Throws this one out to the left. Finds his receiver. Way to look it in. Nice catch. Sure was. He displayed some great hands there. Now we're looking at a first down. It's first and 10. This is the fifth play of this drive. From the gun. He passes it. And it's caught. And he shoved out of bounds. They tried a little play fake that time and got maybe a yard. Second and nine. Ball on the 43-yard line. The Bronco. Go with the eye formation. Toss. They're after him. He might not risk a throw now. Well, the players love to run these types of plays because it's out of the ordinary of what they usually do on offense. So when they finally call the play, you have to execute it because you don't get many chances to do it again. And I think they have the wrong guy throwing the football. But I guess that's why he's not the real quarterback. It's third down and nine to go. This is the seventh play of this drive. Boise State comes out with two tight ends. Flags are all over the place, and they'll blow it dead. And the defense gives up some free yards to the offense. Uh, you know, penalties can ruin a team's chances to win if they commit too many. Third and four. Ball on the 48-yard line. There's a play fake. Rolls right. Looks. Home run ball in the air. Caught. He goes down. They made the third down conversion look too easy. They were just looking for the first and ended up getting a huge chunk of yardage. It's not bad. See if they can punch this one in. He drops back. Comes across the middle. Touchdown, Boise State. The big fella made a heck of a catch there. Hey, he's blocked. Him. He's blocked. Him. Then the defense forgets about him and whoops. He puts points on the scoreboard. And he hits the PAT. This drive summary is brought to you from our good friends at Pontiac. Boise State ready to kick this one off. Kicks it off. Number 20 fields it in the end zone. 
The defense did a good job against them the last time they had the ball, forcing the punt. But remember, they had given up quite a few yards before forcing that punt. They might not be so lucky this time. They'll go to work at the 10. Number three is the impact player, and he's feeling it right now. He's looking for his man. Heads up play to bat it down. Yeah, and if you can't get to the quarterback or intercept the pass, the next best thing is to get a hand up. So it's second and ten. Ball on the ten. High formation here. They'll run the option. Tries to do. Brought down. Seven yard play. Seven yard gain on the play. It's third down and three to go. Ball on their own 17. They come out with three wide receivers. They'll try to get the first on the ground. They couldn't even get that drive started. Take the keys out of the ignition, sweetheart, because this defense didn't let them even get out of the drive. Play. The Bulldogs line up the punt. He gets it away. Number 23 signals for a fair catch. He hauls it in at the 40. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. So if I'm the coach, I'm telling my defensive linemen to get more pressure on that quarterback, please. The Bronco line up in an eye formation. up the play action find his receiver and they make the stop nice decision by the quarterback not only was it good decision making but the offensive line protected just long enough for him to find his target and when you combine the two it'll be a first down nine out of ten times first and ten ball on the 47 yard line Boise State comes out in the shotgun drop back to pass looking Wants to throw outside. And it's the senior. And he's shoved out of bounds. I like the defense that was called. They just didn't make the play on the ball. You're right. It wasn't necessarily bad defense. The offense just executed, and the result is a first down. It's first and ten. Ball on the 27-yard line. The Bronco come out in the shotgun, steps up in the pocket, throws to the middle, and it falls incomplete. And yeah, we got an injured player on the field. Right. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 27. Boise State comes out with an eye formation. Back to pass. Steps up. He's looking. Throws it to the outside. Finds a man. The five. He's all the way. Touchdown. He located his tight end and got him the ball for the touchdown. Well, he was clearly the best target on that play. And he tacks on the extra point. With just over a minute to go in the first quarter, the score is Boise State, 14, Georgia, nothing. Boise State.
to kick. Number 20 and number 16 back deep to return. And they'll be returning this one. Number 16 fields at the goal line. So the offense takes over. And the last time they had the ball, they had a tough time getting anything going. They'll start this drive at the 24. Number three lines up in the shotgun. Bad snap from center. He steps up. He tosses it short. Got it to the senior. So the defense kept everything in front of them on that play. They didn't pick up much on that play, but if they keep dumping it off like that, the safeties are going to have to creep up. When you force the safeties to play shallow, it opens up a whole other passing game. That's when you hit them with the home run. Georgia goes with the ace set here. He drops back. He's going left. Incomplete. And he overthrew his wide receiver. I don't know too many seven-foot guys playing football, so maybe he should aim lower the next time. Third down and seven. Ball on the 27-yard line. Six DBs in the lineup. Nice play fake. Look. He'll dump this one off. They'll bring him down. Coach, that's a first down. A good look at first down, too. They might want to run that one again in a couple plays. He had some options out there. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 34. The Bulldogs come out showing three wide. On the ground with the tailback. And he's taken down. That'll be a two-yard gain. Gain of two on the play. It's second down and eight, and this is the fifth play of the current drive. Georgia lines up with three receivers. It's a direct snap. He's gobbled up in the backfield. They didn't let him get anything going on that play. No, they didn't. Heck, they didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. And that'll be the end of the first quarter with our score. Boise State, 14. Georgia, nothing. Now it's third and nine coming up. Ball on the 35. Georgia comes to the line with three wide. He's on the run. Tackle. That's how you convert third down, sweetheart. That was a good-looking play, wasn't the coach? Oh, yeah. This offensive coordinator must have seen something in the defense he really liked. It's first and ten. This is the seventh play of this drive. The Bulldogs line up with three wide. They hand it off again. Yuku, the big guy with room to run. Down the sideline. And they finally knock him out at the 20. How do you like that run? I'll tell you what, if you're the defensive coach, you don't like it at all. In fact, you're probably disgusting. No doubt, that big pullback made this defense look bad on that play. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Georgia lines up in the power eye set. Back to pass. He tosses it short. Complete. Alexander brings him down. They get three yards on the play. Second and seven coming up here. This is the ninth play of this drive. Number three with three wide receivers. Drops back to pass. Got an opening. Missed tackle. And he's tackled. He gained a good six yards on that scamper. Eleven yards out. This is when the impact player at tight end can make plays. Makes a move. They'll bring him down. He picked up a first down on that run, Coach. Yep, and you know, if you can pick up a few more first downs on the ground like that, it will really open up the play-action pass. Play. 
Looks like they'll try to power it right into the heart of the defense. He drops back. Throws a lot pass out to the right. It falls incomplete. He let his hat back too far on that throw. This kid needs to relax and get the ball down where his receivers can catch it. Watch the linebacker. He's the star of the defense, and he's in the zone right now. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. He's going left. So they call it tight end number, and he comes through with the score. He did a great job here of moving his size to create space for himself so the quarterback can get the ball into him without any defenders getting in the way. Kirk, you know, in high school, this guy was so big, he played defensive tackle. When he's going across the middle, he never shies away from a big-time hit. No, he's more interested in delivering punishment than taking it. the PAT. So here's the Pontiac drive summary to recap what just happened. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Decent kick, looks to be returnable. Number 23, fields it at the three. Little shake and bake move. They did a great job on their last drive, moving the ball down the field for a touchdown. Let's see if they can duplicate that on this drive. They'll set up shot at the 16-yard line. Boise State sets up in the eye. Back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Across the middle. It's tipped. And that one probably should have been picked off. Yeah, are you kidding me? There's a blanket around that receiver. Somebody else had to be open. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 16-yard line. High formation here. Play action. He lobs it left. And it's caught. And down he goes. That little play action good for about four yards. It's third down and six to go. Ball in the 20. Ace backfield. He drops back. Steps up. He's looking down the middle. In and out of his hand. Oh, he could have had a big reception that time. Today. Just let that one get away from his vision just for a split second. They line up to pump this one away. Gets it off. Number 29 fields it at the 41. This is where I look for the defense to clamp down after some sloppy tackling the last time. They let this offense run all over them, all the way to the end zone. And I don't see that happening again. They'll take over at the 44. Number three comes to the line with three wide. And they got him for a loss. And that was a good stop by the defense. They got him in the backfield. That's a great example of quickness by the defensive line. It allows you to break away from those blockers before they have a chance of moving you away from the play. Second and 11. Ball on the 43-yard line. The Bulldogs go with the I formation. Drops back to pass. He's going right. Complete. Got some open field. And they bring him down. Wow, nice catch. Way to look at it. And good job by the wide receiver. These guys are moving the ball down the field. Right. 
about two minutes before halftime. The Bulldog come out in the ace formation. He'll dump this one off. Brought down. A pickup of about three. Three yard gain on the play. Second and seven coming up here. Ball on the 23 yard line. Three wide outs here. Back to pass. Looking. He tosses it short. And it's caught. There's a missed tackle. He's knocked out of bounds. Way to look it in. Nice catch. Sure was. He displayed some great hands there. Now we're looking at a first down. They'll line up in the power eye. the stop. Georgia takes a timeout. Georgia comes out of the shotgun. Going to the end zone. Incomplete pass. Excellent job of getting a hand in there to break up the pass. It was, Coach. That one had reception written all over, but the defender stepped up and made the play. They come out with three wide receivers. He drops back. He's looking. Throws this one out to the right. He's got it. Touchdown. My goodness, guys. That was a spectacular play by the wide receiver. The coach has gone to great lengths to shepherd his receivers, and we've seen the results on the field. And he tacks on the extra point. And now we'll take a look at the Pontiac drive summary. Number 93 is lined up to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. Number 23 fields it in the end zone. Get the tackler. Do you guys remember what this offense did the last time they had the ball? Did they have the ball before? Exactly. It was three and out so fast they had to ask for slow-mo replay to recap it. They'll go to work at the 26. The Bronco come out in a two tight end set. Nice play fake. He unloads it. Is it too high? No, he got it. Now that was a good looking play. The quarterback put it where his receiver could get it, and now they have a first down. What I like is the faith that this quarterback has in his receiver. He's not afraid to throw it downfield. First and ten. Ball on the 28. The defense lines up with six DB. They'll throw on first down. Throw. Has it to the senior. Boise State calls a timeout. It's second down and five to go. Ball on the 23-yard line. Drops back to pass. He throws it. Complete. They'll bring him down. Boise State takes a timeout. First and ten. Ball on the 13-yard line. The Bronco 
come out in a bunch of formation. Defense looking for his first incompletion this drive. Incomplete. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 13. This big fella defensive tackles in the zone right now. Back to pass. Under pressure. Looks. And he's going to come up with a sack. I think the offensive line missed a block there. Somebody did. It was like a jailbreak up front. And the linebacker will get the credit for the sack. Boise State goes with the ace set here. Looking. Throws it to the outside. And it's caught for the touchdown. And for the third time in this first half, they've managed to find the end zone through the air. When this quarterback gets in rhythm, watch out. This could be ugly. He hits the PAT. Now to just a few seconds left here before the half. And our score, Boise State, 21, Georgia, 14. Ready to kick. Kicks it off. Number 16 feels it in the end zone. Passing wasn't much of a problem the last time this offense had the ball as they were able to get it in for six. They'll start this drive at the 20-yard line. Georgia comes to the line with three wide. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. And he's taken down. Short little game there, just trying to keep that clock running. Keep that clock running and keep that other offense off the field. It's second down and seven to go. Ball in the 23. They line up in the jumbo set. And we've reached halftime here. The score at the break. Boise State, 21. Georgia, 14. Georgia got the ball to start the game, so they'll be kicking off to start the second half. He kicks it. Number 23 fields it in the end zone. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. This quarterback has not been intimidated by the ferocious defensive line. What a first half he had throwing the football. He was tremendous out there. And you know what? His jersey's looking pretty clean, too. I'll tell you what, I don't think he's been sacked once in this whole half. Well, what do you expect? This offensive line is trying to give their impact player some time to throw the football. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 26-yard line. They get it out there on the toss. Can't wrap him up. And down he goes. And a huge run by the tailback. This guy's always had outstanding vision, but it seems he's got some incredible quickness as well once he gets into the open field. Boy, you're right. This kid showed me he's a great-looking athlete. First and ten. Ball on their own 38. The offense is doing everything they can just to call the plays, and right now they're not having much luck at all. Comes across the middle, dives and caught. 
Nice decision by the quarterback. Not only was it good decision making, but the offensive line protected just long enough for him to find his target. And when you combine the two, it'll be a first down nine out of ten times. It's first and ten, ball on the 48-yard line. I wouldn't try anything tricky on defense. This quarterback's looking to make a play. They'll throw on first down. He tosses it short. Got it to the senior. Three yards there on the play. Second and seven coming up here. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. Boise State lines up in a shotgun set. He's looking. Throws it to the outside. Off his hands and incomplete. Dropped by the wideout. It's third down and seven to go. This is the sixth play of this drive. Boise State comes out with three receivers bunt. Nice play fake. Rolling out to the right side. Throws this one out to the right. And he's tackled. First and ten. Ball on the 23-yard line. Now's not the time for a blown coverage. This quarterback is in the zone. Brought down. A good six yards there by the fullback. The pressure turns up when in the red zone, and that's when you turn to Old Spice red zone, when performance matters the most. In the red zone again. Let's see if it'll be another touchdown. He'll get the call again. And he is drilled. Gain of a yard by the fullback. The defense will try to stop this third down as they were unsuccessful the first time on this drive. The Broncos line up in a goal line formation. Play action. Comes across the middle. He catches another. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. Inside handoff. And he's got the touchdown. The simple handoff to the fullback got it done right there. Yo, give it to the big bulldozer. Get out of the way. And he tacks on the extra point. And just over two minutes left here in the third. The score is Boise State 28, Georgia 14. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He sends this one deep. Number 16 fields it in the end zone. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. They'll set up shot at the 18-yard line. Number three with three wide receivers. 
He jukes him. Cuts him open field. Excellent open field tackle. And that was a nice run. Kirk, that was a great job by that big offensive line. Yeah, it really was, Brad. And also, a nice read by the ball carrier to find that running lane. When you break one like that, you got to give a lot of credit to the offensive line. It's first and ten. Ball on the 31-yard line. Number three comes to the line with three wide. They'll throw on first down. He lobs it right side, and it's caught. And he's going to lose yards on this one. Loss of two. Loss of two on the play. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on their own 29. The Bulldog. Come out in the shotgun. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Excellent job by the defense to read the draw play. Yep, the quarterback thought he could spread him out and find a hole for himself to run through. But they were having none of that. It's third down and 13 to go. Ball on their own 28. The Bulldog. Come out showing three wide. Drops back to pass. Wants to throw outside. And it's incomplete. That's not a bad decision right there. He just got to give his man a shot at catching it. Yep. He put a little bit too much on that pass. It's fourth down, and the punt team lines up. He punts it. Number 23, fields it for 31. The offense ready for the first play of this drive. They moved the ball extremely well on their last possession on their way to the end zone. They'll take over at the 32. Boise State lines up in a double tight set. And he stopped behind the line. Nice tackle to bring him down before he got back to the line of scrimmage. Solid effort there to break up that play. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on the 30-yard line. And the impact player at tight end is in the zone. Back to pass. He steps up. Look. He gets the pass away. Complete. And he's going to lose yards on this one. That's a two-yard loss. It's third down and 14 to go. Ball on the 28. Boise State comes out in the shotgun. Throws this one out to the right. He's knocked out of bounds. He couldn't make the catch in bounds. You can't fault the receiver. He did all he could to make the catch. The pass was just too far out of play. The Broncos are lining up to punt it away. Punts the ball away. Number 29 fields it at the 40. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. They'll get the ball here at the 39-yard line. The Bulldogs line up with three wide. Bring him down, and they pick up two yards. It's second down and eight to go. Ball on their own 41. Number three with three wide receivers. He drops back. Steps up in the pocket. Looking. Throws down the middle. Fantastic play by the cornerback. All you young defensive backs at home, that is how you play defense. Third, Third and eight. eight. Ball on the 41. They'll work from the shotgun. And he's hit hard. Four yards gained on that quarterback draw.
Boise State comes out defensively with six defensive backs. Drops back to pass. Steps up. He's looking. Throws this one out to the right. He's in. And he's taken down. It's first and ten. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. The Bulldogs line up in an I formation. They'll go with the run once again. And they make the stop. And the halfback ripped off a nice gain there to get him the first. Hey, this kid's a good looking back. Let's see if they go to him again. First and ten. This is the sixth play of this drive. This defense better be careful. The quarterback is in the zone and really feeling it out there. They'll throw on first down. Short toss. Someone got a hand on it. Good job there by the defense to get a hand on it. It was, Kirk, but when you're going out for a pass and the ball is in the air, you need to go after it and come down with it. You just can't watch the defender bat it down. Number three comes to the line with three wide. Back to pass. He steps up. Wants to throw outside. And he's tackled. I like the defense that was called. They just didn't make the play on the ball. You're right. It wasn't necessarily bad defense. The offense just executed, and the result is a first down. Georgia goes with the ace set here. Play action. Let's it fly. And that one's fallen incomplete. What a hit to knock that ball loose. Oh, mama. He couldn't hold on that one for a touchdown. That would have been a spectacular reception. So it's second and ten. Ball of the 22. Georgia lines up with three receivers. He drops back. Steps up in the pocket. A little two. And they hit him in the backfield. Third down, 15. Ball on the 27-yard line. The Bulldogs come out in the shotgun. Going deep. And they couldn't hook up on that one. And again, they're going for it on fourth down. They got to go for it on this fourth and long. Drops back to pass. Looks. Throws this one out to the right. Incomplete. Not much of a chance on that one. Well, they had to go for it. They're at a point where there's not much time left, and you got to put it all on the line. They'll start this drive at the 27. Here's the give. They'll drop him for a loss. Boy, he is one big guy down there on that defensive line. Oh. Big fella's a hoss. I saw him last night at the hotel. He had three bags of food going up to his room. Yo, it looks like he's got a big old bag hanging over his belt right now. The offense better get that defensive tackle blocked up. He can make plays. Gives to the fullback, and he's going to lose yards on this one. Give this linebacker a big play in that stat column for an excellent tackle there. It's third down and 11 to go. Ball on the 26-yard line. Six DBs in the lineup. Inside you. You. Tackle. Georgia calls a timeout. Boise State lining up the punt. He gets it away. Number 29 fields it at the 34. Their last drive ended when they decided to try for it on fourth down and were turned away by the defense. Right. 
They'll set up shot at the 38-yard line. Number three lines up in the shotgun, steps up, and now he's going to run. They'll bring him down. He scrambles and picks up five. As we've seen before, they go with a hurry-up offense. Number three with three wide receivers. Big opening. Brought down. Nice running on the option there. That was a spectacular option keeper there, and I'm going to tell you why. It looked like that play was going nowhere, but this quarterback made the right choice by holding on to the football. You're right. Good heads-up play there by the QB. A couple of yards there on the option to the halfback. Single set backfield. They go with the option. He lateral. Got some open field. And they make the stop. Wow, that looked like the same play again. <laughs> and that is the third time in a row they run that play. I think you're right. This defense has to regroup here and devise a scheme to counter this play. Georgia takes a timeout. Right, second and 12 coming up here. And this is the sixth play of the drive. Going with the shotgun here. He steps up, looking, throws this one out to the right, completes, it's the freshman. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. Tries to do, and down he goes. They tried to run the ball for the first down, and they didn't get it. No, sir, you saw the defense just power through their blocks and wham into him. Number three comes to the line, three wide, sheds that one, and he's taken down. So they couldn't stop him on fourth down. Yeah, and I bet that defensive coordinator down there is pulling his hair out after giving up that run. The defense needs to be mistake three. This quarterback is very capable of making them pay right now. Three yards there on the play. When this quarterback's in the zone, as he is now, he can do a lot of damage to the defense. And he's tackled. He may need a sub out here. Georgia calls a timeout. If anyone can force a turnover right now, then it's the man at linebacker. He's looking across the middle, and it's intercepted. It's a done deal here as the final whistle blows. Kirk, what'd you think of this one? You know, I think it was a well-played game for the most part. Georgia had a few missed opportunities in this game, and I think if they could have capitalized on a few of them, it would have been a lot closer, and they might even have won this game. The fine That's folks the at EA Sports, game. thank you for uh -oh. tuning in to this contest of NCAA football 2006. Georgia. The final score, Boise State 28, Georgia 14.